everyone and welcome to Virtual College Exploration for um, New Jersey. Today we have some presenters with us. I just want to point out a few things. Um, if you do want to ask a question, please see the Q&A feature on the bottom of your screen. Um, your camera phone, I'm sorry, your camera and microphone are off so you won't be able to speak, but you can certainly send us any questions that you have. Please be sure to check out the website to sign up for more sessions if you're interested in checking out some other schools. And this will be recorded, so should you want to check back and watch it again or go see a presentation that you missed, you certainly can do so. With that being said, I'll give it over to our presenters. Hello, um, my name is Stacy Owens. I serve as the, one of the out-of-state admissions counselors here at Mount Aloysius College in Crescent, Pennsylvania. My primary territory is all of New Jersey, Delaware, as well as um, Washington, DC. Brittany? Hi, everybody. My name is Brittany Ambrosino. I am an admissions counselor at Mount St. Mary College. My territories are the entire state of New Jersey. I also work with students in Staten Island and Pennsylvania. Hey, everyone. My name is Aliyah Talinsky. I am one of the assistant directors of admissions events at Coastal Carolina University in Conway, South Carolina. Um, I primarily work with all students from the state of New Jersey. Great. So this presentation, How Will I Know, um, will explore the seven contributing factors that students consider when going through their college selection process. We're going to go ahead and break down each of the, those contributing factors in general and then explain how it relates to each of our respective institutions. With that, I'm going to turn it over to Brittany to begin our presentation. Brittany? Perfect. Okay, so there's a lot of kind of factors to think about when you are obviously thinking about a college. And the first one, Stacey, oh, there it is, um, is location. So you really have to think about kind of, do you want to be closer to home? Do you want to be farther from home? I myself commuted to school, um, but other people want to get really far away from home. So you want to kind of ask yourself that because that is what's going to determine um, where you go. Um, you also want to ask yourself, do you want to be somewhere in the city or do you want to be more in like a rural area? Um, that will totally change your college experience. So it's definitely something that you want to ask yourself. The best way to do that is by going on campus tours. Um, right now, obviously, it might not be the best time, but look up the colleges that you might be interested in and see if they're doing tours. Um, I know all three of us, um, our colleges are doing in-person tours, and that's really the best way to kind of see if you're going to like um, you know, the environment of where the college is. Um, you also want to make sure that you're close to fun stuff too. Um, you're in college, obviously, to get an education, um, but, you know, is shopping important to you? Is, you know, doing outdoor activities, going hiking, stuff like that important? Um, you want to make sure that the college that you're looking at is by all those things. And then another kind of important key factor to keep in mind is the size of campus. Um, the three of our colleges are kind of a, a little bit different in terms of size, um, but you wanna really ask yourself, I tell my students, like what kind of college environment or what like environment do you learn at the best educationally? Um, do you go to your teachers for extra help a lot? Do you wanna be comfortable talking to your professors or do you not really need a lot of extra help and you're fine? Um, kind of the size of campus kind of alters that, um, whether you wanna be in a large group or a smaller group. Um, also paying attention again to student faculty ratio. If, um, you know, if going to your professor or your teacher is something important to you, then you're gonna to wanna to go to a school where the student faculty ratio is a bit on the smaller side. Um, and then class size. Again, it all really depends on if you wanna be surrounded by a, a big population of students at like a big, you know, named school, or if you want smaller personalized attention at a smaller school. Thanks, Brittany. Um, the next contributing factor is what kind of support is offered on the campus um, that you are considering. There are several options um, that are considered to be supportive um, in terms of academic support. Um, there are tutoring services, uh, whether they have those services for you um, as an all-inclusive unpaid or maybe a paid option for you. 
um, in terms of peer or professional tutoring. Um, what kind of health um, services do they offer? Is there a nurse or a doctor on call or a nurse's or doctor's office on campus that you can um, go to if you're not feeling well? Um, do they have counseling services? Mental health is very important um, in the success of your college um, academic life. Um, and if your school, if the school that you're considering does not have uh, a college count, uh, I'm sorry, uh, mental health counseling for you, then you may want to give that another thought um, when considering that campus for your future school. Career services. What career services does that college offer? Does it offer um, um, services like resume building or resume review or writing services? Um, if you have written um, an essay for some, you know, your, your master's program that you need to write something for, do, do they review that? Do they have mock interviews? Um, and the other support that is important to if you're if you're thinking about doing some study abroad, does that school offer it? And if not, you know, then that may be a, that may be a, a breaking factor in continuing to consider that school as a future option. Obviously, the programs that are offered um, in terms of majors are uh, it's going to make or break whether you decide to go to that school. It is a very important factor in deciding um, if that is a college that you um, could see yourself at in the future. Um, that what top programs are offered at each of the schools that you're considering? Do they have a dual major if that's something that you're interested in? Is it possible to minor in something? And what concentrations do they offer um, in terms of um, um, in terms of adding on to your majors? So if a school doesn't offer something, you know, engineering, then um, and it, then maybe you don't want to consider going to that school if that school um, doesn't offer the specific concentration toward working towards, you know, more um, finite major, um, perhaps that may be something that you um, definitely need to consider a little more when choosing um, your college. Okay, and then another really important thing that I think um, students should look for is activities. Um, so what's going on on campus? I know you're definitely looking at an institution based off of their programs and academics, but what else can you get involved in outside of academics? Do they have athletics? Do they have clubs that you're involved in high school or you want to get involved in in college? Do they have Greek life? Um, is there a movie theater on campus? Are there service trips to go to and participate in? Do they have dance? community service, all of those things are really important um, for you in making a decision. I know that was really important um, for me, just to see what types of hobbies and interests you have and what schools have to offer. Next slide. And then also scholarships. So we're gonna go into kind of the money aspect. So um, does the institution or institutions that you're looking at, do they have merit-based scholarships based off of your academic profiles? Are there grants? So any type of gift aid, money that's being given to you or any need-based aid that's given to you based off of your FAFSA, your free application for federal student aid, if you apply. Um, Definitely look for any outside scholarships that are from your high school or your community. Those are all really important aspects um, in determining how much you'll be paying at the institutions you're, you're interested in. And going along with scholarships is cost. Those institutions that you're looking at, what's the tuition? What's the room and board? What are the fees? How much will you be paying for books? Do you have to buy your books? Can you rent your books? Laundry. Obviously, you're not going to be dragging your laundry home. Uh, I did, but not all of you are going to be dragging your laundry home. Um, so you'll be doing your laundry on campus. Are those services free? Um, and parking pass. A lot of students ask, you know, can I bring my car on campus freshman, sophomore, junior, senior year? That's definitely really important as well. So does that college provide a parking pass for you? So in relation to those seven factors, um, here is what Mount Aloysius uh, offers in terms of location and size. There's a map of what our campus looks like from an aerial um, uh, view. 
uh, it's not the entire campus, but it is the majority of the campus. Um, we were founded in 1853 by the Sisters of Mercy. We are one of 17 Mercy schools um, nationwide. What that means is um, that we have four core values that the Sisters of Mercy have instilled in us, in our um, faculty, our staff, the president, our trustees, the students, our mercy, service, justice, and hospitality. Those are the four core values that we strive to emulate and reflect on uh, in our day-to-day -day life on as well as off campus. Um, nestled in the Allegheny Mountains, we, are, we have uh, 193 acres of land um, that make up our campus. This is just the populized um, view of what our campus looks like, but there are um, lots and lots of hiking trails as well as a fishing pond on campus. Um, as, and there's many uh, state parks that are available within close proximity to um, the campus grounds as well if you're into outdoor activities. Um, we are conveniently located, uh, if you look at that map on the bottom left-hand corner, between Johnstown and Altoona, we are 70 miles approximately from um, Pittsburgh as well. Uh, so there's many opportunities for shopping, airports, um, train stations, and other entertainment options within just a few miles of our campus. Freshmen are allowed to have their cars on campus. It is a $40 parking pass per year. Um, so that's a huge positive for our, our freshman students who have a vehicle at their disposal and are able to uh, move back and forth as they choose on and off campus. Um, we do have five residence halls. Um, the new, the freshman hall actually is under a multi-million dollar renovation right now. So it's updating the, um, the furniture, the common areas, the um, the closets, the bathrooms, the facade of the building, as well as installing um, central air. So previous to, to I believe it will be put in next summer, but previous to next to, to, to now, we had um, just window and fans in that freshman dormitory. Um, two of our dorm halls are set up uh, community style, which means there's one bathroom per floor. Two of our residence halls are set up um, in uh, suite style, meaning that two, two dorm rooms are conjoined by one bathroom. So four students, two in each room, um, share that respective bathroom. And one, our upper dorm, upper classman dormitory area is set up as an apartment style um, building. Um, we do have an 11 to 1 student to faculty ratio. Brittany, do you think you could take over till she gets her back? and from 26 different states. Stacy, your, your mic cut out for a few seconds. Okay, can you still hear me now? Yes. Okay, I'm just gonna continue moving on. So the support and programs that we offer here and activities on, at Mount Aloysius College, there are um, some pictures of some of the newest um, activities that we've done. We have a, a campfire outside of one of our dorm halls. We hosted a student activities board hosted dancing with the teachers. Um, I'm sorry, dancing with the students. So the students that were interested in participating had to ask a faculty or a staff member to be their partner. Um, our, our, our current president at the time was one of the um, participants in that event and it was super popular here on campus and it was an amazing time packed house. Um, so back to the support system, support that we offer here on campus, I apologize. Um, our career development services offers resume building, mock interviews, um, and, and anytime that you have a question about how you would go about reaching specific goals that you have in mind for yourself, you can speak with our career development office 
and they can help you plot out little milestones that you can work towards and little goals that you can work towards checking off of your list as you progress through your, um, your college um, years here on campus. Um, student advisors. Our student, advisors, uh, our student advisors offer time management um, up, like teaching, how to manage your time better, study skills, as well as technology assistance for any um, technology issues that they may be having using um, specific applications that are necessary for their classes. Peer and professional tutoring is available in our, um, in our library, in our learning support center. Um, there are a significant amount of peer, uh, peer uh, tutors um, that have a great deal of people that need a little bit of extra homework help or just, you know, maybe helping them understand a certain concept in the class. And it is specific sometimes to majors. Um, so you can, you can reach out if you're a nursing student and you're having nursing um, studying issues, then you can reach out to a specific um, student in your own major. We do have a very active campus ministry staff here on campus. Um, we do have uh, many um, activities that they host. And, and any time that you need any um, spiritual or mental support in that respect, you can reach out to our campus ministry staff as well as our health and wellness services where they do offer counseling and disability um, services as well. We each, each semester, um, here on campus, our students really love that we offer um, study sessions. So it's a big, huge study session right before midterms, which is coming up here in the next few days, um, where service dogs come to campus um, right before midterms as well as finals. Um, so the the study do the service dogs, sorry, um, come and help the students stay calm and maybe help them absorb some of the material that they're trying to study a little bit um, more more um, efficiently. And we also have, um, all of our professors have um, extended office hours for any additional help that um, students may need. The pro our main programs that we offer here, our top program is our nursing. So we do have a three and a half year accelerated BSN program or a two plus two um, option um, or a second degree BSN if you already have uh, a bachelor's degree already. Um, our two plus two sets you up so that if you want to get your associates and work um, and start earning some money while you complete your bachelor's degree, then you are able to do that. The second two years is 100% online um, to complete that bachelor's option. Um, our health sciences is a huge, huge um, popular area of study, which is um, pre-physical therapy, physical therapy assistant, surgical technology, pre-physician's assistant, pre-occupational therapy, pre-chiro, pre-med, pre-farm. Um, and all of these have a significant amount of um, students that are interested in these most popular um, programs. Medical imaging um, is another uh, big one. And we have um, dedicated labs for each of these um, science majors. American Sign Language, we are one of 14 national schools, schools nationally that have this as a, um, a major. Um, so we host deaf gatherings every Wednesday for our ASL students to um, participate in here on our campus. We also have psychology business and the other um, standard um, liberal arts college um, majors. Here's some information about our activities that I want to cruise on through to our scholarship co and cost because um, I'm running out of time for myself. Um, tuition room and board is less than $35,000. We do not have an out-of-state tuition rate because we are a private institution. Our average residential student Stacy cut out again. If you have any questions about any of that, I highly encourage you um, to scan that QR code there on the bottom next to my little selfie with my mascot, Mac, and fill out that form. I, can, I will happily get in touch with you um, in order to discuss further our, our majors, 
um, how to make how to schedule your your in person visit here. We do offer um, an overnight visit as well, and we have an apartment set up here on campus for our out of state visitors. It actually is a free visit free overnight stay and meals are included in that. So I highly encourage you to um, make a commitment to uh, visiting Mount Aloysius College, seeing if that campus feel is, is what you're looking for in terms of size. We do have a total enrollment of undergraduate students, about 1,500, less than 500 of them do live on campus in our five dormitories. So please reach out with any questions and um, I'm gonna turn it over now to Brittany. Hi guys, so um, Mount St. Mary College is located in Newburgh, New York. We are a four-year private liberal arts college. We are Catholic affiliated, founded by Dominican traditions. Um, we are located a little over an hour north of New York City. We are less than an hour north of uh, Bergen County, New Jersey. Um, so we are, you know, in close proximity to the state of New Jersey. So we kind of I say to my Jersey students, we're like close enough, but far enough. So you are far enough to live away from home, but close enough to get there if you had to quickly or if your parents had to come to you. Um, so yeah, there's a little map right there. Um, we are closer to New York City than we are to Albany. Um, we have about 2,500 students. 1,700 of them are undergraduate. And out of those 1,700 undergraduate, 80% live on campus. So we are a smaller school, but we are a big residential base. Um, if you look at the picture, um, the bigger picture here, bottom right hand corner, you see like that orange building. That big building is SACAT Call. It's our freshman resident hall building. Um, and that's where our uh, freshmen live. It is co-ed. Um, all of our freshman students have a bathroom in their room, which is awesome your first year. Um, you have to clean it yourself, but you have your own bathroom. Um, we offer three different styles of rooms. We have a single, which is two people in the room with a bathroom, there's a double, which is two rooms, two people in each, a lounge area and a bathroom. And then we have a six person suite, which is three rooms, two people in each, a lounge area, two bathrooms, one has a tub, one has a shower. Um, so it is great to have your bathroom in your room the first year. Um, and then that is an aerial shot from both sides of campus. We are right on the Hudson River, as you can see. So the view is beautiful um, and we are a smaller school. So you can really walk from one end of campus to the other in like 15 minutes. You can go to the next slide, Stacey. Thanks. Um, so we're really big on support at the Mount. Um, when you come to the Mount, we have an Office of Student Success. You are paired automatically with both an academic advisor, who is one of your professors, as well as an academic coach. So your advisor is the person who's going to tell you what classes you need to take, but your coach is going to be able to kind of make sure that your schedule fits in at like extracurricularly with um, what you're doing. They can also pair you with tutoring, with our writing center, um, your academic coach is kind of like your kind of second parent away from home. Um, so we just like to make sure that all of our students have, a, you know, a multiple means of support when they come. Um, so it's an easy transition from high school to college. Our career center is one of the main reasons why I chose to go to the Mount. I am an alumni. I graduated from here in 2016. I was so impressed by it when I came to an open house. I did four internships when I was a student. Um, we don't give you a list of internships. You tell us where you want to go. Um, so we kind of make it happen for you. Um, we help you with career planning. Um, if Since you are always going to be an alumni of the Mount, um, if you ever lose your job or you need a job um, till the day that you die, you can always come back to the Mount and we will help you find a job, which I really like. Um, we do mock interviews. We have real world connection events where you can connect with people in the community and within your major. Um, so they really help you with that. And we also, underneath the Office of Student uh, Success, have a counseling center. Like Stacey said before, mental health is a huge component of all of this, um, especially everything you guys are going through right now. So we do have a strong counseling center. Um, for activities, we have over 30 different clubs and organizations on campus. We have hobby-based clubs, service-based clubs. Um, in terms of service, we're really big on service. Our president is trying to make us one of the leading service um, colleges in the country. Um, all of our majors do some type of service work, whether it's nurses doing a blood drive at West Point, which are only 15 minutes from there, um, whether it's our business students doing taxes during tax season, um, we're always doing service. Um, so we do have that avenue for you. Um, we are D3 for athletics. We have over 21 different athletic teams. We have everything but football for the most part because football is just based on where we are and our campus. We can't put a football field. Um, but yeah, so we are D3 for athletics and we always are doing events and trips. We do events daily and then we do bigger events on the weekends. 
In terms of our programs, nursing, business, and education are our top three, but as you can see, we do have a bunch of others to choose from. I went here and I double majored in journalism and public relations, um, but kind of going back to nursing, business, and ed, we're pretty much known in the tri-state area for our nursing program. It's very strong and it's very competitive. We take about 120 students per year into the program. Um, if nursing is something that you are interested in, please reach out to me and email me so I can kind of go over the program and give you some more information. Um, but again, business and education are also big. Um, we actually have an elementary school on our campus, which is a little unconventional, but um, it's totally awesome. And all of our uh, education students will student teach there first. Um, we also have bio pre-health professions, so pre-med, pre-PT, pre-PA. There's a bunch there to choose from. Um, also kind of on the rise um, the past two or three years is our cybersecurity program that just became a major. Um, criminology is another big one. And we also just added healthcare management to business as well as sports management is going to become a major by next year. Um, so we do have a lot to choose from, like I said, over 50 different ones. Um, and we're really flexible with having you double major, double minor, whatever you wanna do. Like I said, I was able to double major. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions about any of the programs, definitely reach out to me so I can explain them to you in more detail. You can go to the next slide, please. Okay, so lastly, this is our admissions requirement for the year. We have gone test optional this year, so we do not need a test score. If you've taken it, we will take it. Um, but if not, there is no worries. All we need to complete your application is the application, the official high school transcript, and the letter of rec. So there's never been an easier time to complete your application. Um, Really, all you have to do is submit your application and then the transcript and letters of rec come from your counselor. So super easy. Um, typically what we look for is about an 85 GPA or 3.0, 1080 SAT or 21 ACT. Like it says there, we do accept above and below that, but that is really just the average. For nursing, we are a bit, a bit more strict, so you need at least an 85 GPA at minimum. Um, if, you've, um, if you have not taken your SAT or ACT, that's also okay. Like I said before, we are test optional, but um, that is just the requirements that we have listed there um, if you do have a test score. Um, we also, for nursing, need you to have a um, completion of a bio and a CAT, a chem class with a lab in order for us to be able to admit you into the program. Um, we also have a fee waiver code. If you would like to apply for free, you can email me and I can give that to you. Um, lastly, we do, we are doing visits on campus. Um, some colleges, I know all three of us are doing visits, but I know some in Jersey and New York aren't, but we are. So we're doing daily tours Monday through Friday, 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. And then throughout October, we're also doing Saturday tour days and info sessions. So we're allowing a certain amount of families to come to campus every Saturday. And then Sundays in October, we are also doing major exploration days. So if you um, are interested in a, certain, in a certain major, you can come on to our virtual session. Um, we're gonna have current students and professors kind of talking about um, their major. So definitely I'm, I've kind of checked some of your names while I, was on, I, while I was in here and a lot of you are in my system already. So you've been getting emails from me. So if you have any questions, please just let me know and I'll be excited to connect with you guys. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cover um, information about Coastal Carolina University. So we are technically located in Conway, South Carolina, but for those of you who aren't familiar with Conway, we're about nine miles west of Myrtle Beach. Um, we have approximately 10,000 students that attend Coastal, around 8,000 are undergraduate students. Um, just to get an idea of where our students are from, 49% are from South Carolina, 49% are from out of state, and 2% are international. So we have a very diverse group of students. Um, we do have five academic colleges here, which I will go over those here briefly. Our student to faculty ratio, for every 16 students, there's one faculty member. So even though we're a medium sized campus, we like to keep that student to faculty ratio smaller and we like to keep our classroom sizes smaller as well. So those classroom sizes are mid 20s to low 30s. And as you continue on in your program, your class sizes will get even smaller. About 79% of our faculty possess a doctoral or terminal degree, so our students here at Coastal are being taught um, by those who have reached the highest level of their education. And majors, we have a lot. Um, we have over 90 programs of study to choose from. 
Okay, so this slide has a lot of information, but I'll definitely cover everything. So academic colleges, like I mentioned, we have five academic colleges. Our first is the Wall College of Business Administration. It is AACSB accredited. That is the highest level of accreditation a college of business can receive internationally. So we're proud of that accreditation. We have anything from management to finance, marketing, accounting, economics. We have a very popular hospitality, resort, and tourism management program, which is great here in the Myrtle Beach area. And we're also one of 17 schools that has a PGA golf management program. So we do have a golf course here on campus. It is student run and managed. We also have our Spadoni College of Education, which is NK accredited. Once students receive their education degree here, they're able to teach in all 50 states, including Guam and Puerto Rico, um, with little to no retesting or recertification. Um, we have anything from early childhood to elementary, middle level, special education, and physical education. Students also can be certified to teach at that secondary level. Next is our Edwards College of Humanities and Fine Arts. This college has most of our majors um, because it's more of the liberal arts college and we are a liberal arts institution. We're a public liberal arts institution. Um, some of our more popular programs in that college, um, communications, we have a very competitive bachelors of fine arts in musical theater and um, production and design. We also have intelligence and national security studies. That's not you preparing to be James Bond. However, it is you preparing to get a career in, let's say, the FBI or CIA. Um, and then newer programs, we have digital culture and design and also anthropology and geography. Next is our Gupta College of Science. About 50% of our students are majoring in the sciences here. Um, our most popular major coming in is marine science. We own part of a barrier island, so re, um, students are doing research on that barrier island often. Um, and we also own a five vessel fleet, so students are out on the, on the boats, whether it's in the rivers, the marshlands, or the ocean um, quite frequently. Our most popular program here at Coastal is exercise and sports science. That's a great prep for students to get into athletic training, physical therapy, or occupational therapy. And then we also have programs like psychology with a forensics concentration and also sociology, which are popular as well. Last is our HTC Honors College and Center for Interdisciplinary Studies. We do have an honors college here on campus. It is a separate application from our admissions application, so make sure if you're interested in that, you can apply to it. And our interdisciplinary studies program, that's for students who have a specific career path, but we do not have that major. Um, what they can do is combine a few majors together to create their own. We had a student here who was interested in marine life, but had a passion for photography. She is now, a, um, she does photography for National Geographic magazine and also a lot of her marine life photos are in um, high school textbooks, which is really cool. Um, going away from academics, we have over 120 clubs and organizations. You name it, we have it. We have anything from Greek life to faith-based organizations, honor societies, student government association, marching band. Like I said, you name it, we have it. We also have athletics here. We are division one. We have NCAA athletics. We are part of the Sun Belt Conference and our women's lacrosse team is part of the Atlantic Sun Conference. Um, because we're division one, that is a commitment. If you're interested in it, you'll need to get um, in contact with the coach. If you're interested in sports, we do have club sports. Um, you do have to try out for those as well. And um, we also have intramural sports. So if you do not want to travel and compete against other institutions like club sports, you can play right here on campus. Next slide. Thanks. Um, I know both Stacy and Brittany mentioned housing. Um, you do have housing all four years. You're required to live on campus your first two years and then your junior year you can choose to live on campus or off campus. We have different housing opportunities. Um, if you go to our virtual welcome center on our website coastal.edu, we do have a housing video that covers all our housing options um, and inside um, each residence hall. So admissions requirements. I know that's really important for you as a student when you're looking to apply to schools. Requirements for us, um, if you look at that slide, are 50% middle range. So this is averages for our, most of our applicants. GPA ranges anywhere from a 3.2 to a 4.0. SAT scores range anywhere from a 19 to a 24. And SAT scores range anywhere from a 1020 to an 1150. We do super score um, and we will take either the SAT or ACT test. 
We are test optional as of fall 2021. If you have a 3.5 cumulative GPA or higher, you do not need to present test scores. We will look at your transcripts. We do encourage you to submit any letters of recommendation and or an essay or a resume. Um, now, if you're interested in marine science or intelligence and national security, Security studies, excuse me, you do need to provide test scores because that is part of those programs um, admission requirement. December 1st, that's a priority date for freshman merit awards. So if you are interested in coastal, you feel that you'd have the opportunity to receive a merit award, apply by December 1, because then you'll be in that first group of students that gets reviewed for merit award opportunities. Resources on campus, we have lots of resources, career services, counseling services, student health services. If you're interested in studying abroad, we have education abroad department as well, and tutoring services. So you, if you need help on math or writing or any of those subjects, we have tutoring services. Our health services, say you need a prescription or you need medicine, we're partnered with Walgreens. Walgreens will drive your prescription to campus, so you do not need to go to um, Walgreens to pick up your prescription. You are allowed a car on campus all four years. It's around $75 for the whole year, which is pretty reasonable for our campus. Cost of tuition. So that total cost right there, that $38,000, um, that is the highest cost that students will pay. That's before financial aid, that's before scholarship opportunities, and those are our highest housing and meal plan options. So that's the highest amount you'll be paying so your total cost will fluctuate based off of your financial aid and everything um, but that is tuition for an out-of-state student and i think that's it this is the contact information obviously for each one of the representatives that you um, heard from today mount aloysius um, my contact phone number at my desk is 814-886-6338 and you can see my email go ahead take a, a, a picture or a, a screenshot of this information so that you can contact each one of us directly if you choose i'm going to go ahead and um, go into our i'm going to go into the questions. So let's see. We have one school, one question. Um, it was asked, out of all of your our schools, which departments are considered to be the, the strongest at each of our schools? So uh, at Mount Aloysius, our most popular and our strongest departments are our health sciences and our nursing. Nursing is our number one um, program and um, our health sciences, whether it's ultrasonography, radiography, or nuclear medicine, um, those are the, pop the most popular um, uh, programs for us. At the MAL, our top three are nursing, business, and education. Nursing definitely being number one, and then um, the other two are right behind it. Um, education, we offer early childhood, childhood, and adolescent. We also have an elementary school on our campus, like we meant, like I mentioned, um, and we also offer the special education certification for business. Um, we have financing, accounting, sports management, healthcare management, um, marketing. And I feel like I'm missing one, um, but we also offer an MBA as well. We have master's programs in nursing, business, and education too. Um, so I think all our academic colleges are strong programs or departments. Um, I did mention our most popular, um, you know, we do have that uh, top 5% accreditation in our College of Business. About 50% of our students are majoring in the sciences, so we are well known for our sciences. Um, but like I said, I mentioned our most popular programs, but I do feel that Coastal, um, all departments and all academic colleges have strong programs. Stacey, you are muted. Um, so I don't know if anybody wants to go back to that last slide, um, but all our contact information is on there. Um, and I just wanna point out that we're all from different areas. Um, you have Mount Aloysius um, from Pennsylvania, or yes, from Pennsylvania. Um, you have Brittany's school from uh, New York and my school from South Carolina. So from the beginning of the presentation, what we were talking about, you know, finding that right fit, you know, how far away are you from home? Do you want to go out of state? Um, and for you being New Jersey students, all three of these schools are out of state. Um, so you're really kind of figuring out that distance and, and programs and what you're really interested in. And Stacy, if you want to go ahead. 
go ahead with. Does anybody have like any other questions that we, cause we still have six more minutes, I think. I didn't know if you were saying anything cause you were talking, but you were muted. So I wasn't sure if you were gonna. <laughs> oh, no, I was just, I, I can't even remember what I was talking about now. I was simply asking um, more questions and answers to be put into um, that chat box there and leave it open for another minute or so so that we can um, make sure that we're answering all the questions. Do keep in mind that this is going to be recorded. So if you wanted to go back and um, scan this picture or the QR code that I had in my presentation to um, get, show some interest in any of the majors um, that any of us had. Okay. I think we'll go ahead and turn it back over to our facilitator. Thank you so much for coming. We appreciate it. And we welcome um, um, all inquiries into each of these schools. All right. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. Just a reminder that when you leave today, there will be a quick survey that we ask if you could fill that out. Any feedback is appreciated so we can continue to um, evaluate and make changes that are best for you guys. Please go to the njacac.org slash virtual fair to see other sessions that are available today and through the rest of the week. And again, this recording will be available. So if you do want to pop back or um, check it out or check out any other sessions that you met that you may have missed, you can certainly do that. So thank you again for joining us and have a great day.